Hello everyone, it's Casey, the Vintage Collecting Lady, and today I have a video for you guys. It's my very first cha-ching video about what sold on eBay. And um, it's a little bit behind, not a whole lot, but um, it's been uh, several weeks ago that I recorded this video for you guys. And um, it's going to show um, what sold, and we're going to just play catch up as we go. Um, I'll try to put one out every couple of days until we get to what's sold very, very recently. And um, I hope it's something you guys will enjoy. I know it, it's, it's always fun for me to see what's selling um, for everyone else. So I hope it's something you guys will enjoy, and I hope it's got some information that will help you. Especially if you're going through some slow sales. Um, so, uh, let's see what's been selling for me. First, we have this adorable set of Melamon plates. It's a set of two shabby chic with pink roses. It's vintage Melamon plates. And... Let's look at them a little bit. They're so, there's that romantic look. That just shabby chic, just really cool set of plates. The flowers on these, they were just so, so pretty. And they sold for $10.88 plus shipping. And I had nothing in these. Absolutely nothing. So... It's good when we can make a little profit on something we don't have anything in them. Alright, let's move along to the next one. Okay, so here we are. And this is a really cool, um, really cool lady women's top. A tunic with bell sleeves. It was, um... You know, it had lace on the outside, and it was lined on the inside with cotton. Now, this was a purchase I purchased for myself. And I ended up not really liking the way it fit. So I decided to list it, and it sold. And I was able to get my money back and make a little bit in the process. Let's see if it shows those sleeves. Yeah, um... The sleeves, I did this picture with a different background because it just seemed to show up much better. I wouldn't say with a white background. You can see the, um, the way the sleeves are made there. They're just they're a really cool, really cool top. And the customer was very pleased with it. So, as you can see on here, kind of what it would look like. Well, it's on a mannequin. Not a real woman, but um, it was just a very, very cool top. And I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but um, I can't remember. And it sold for $28 in shipping. Let's see. I want to say maybe... I don't know if I paid 15 I really can't remember because um, I want to say I bought it several months ago and then decided to not keep it to sell it but all right let's see what see what sold next okay here we go this is a vintage um, lid. It's a vintage Pyrex. I believe it's a Visions Corning wear uh, lid to like um, it's a glass lid in the color Amethyst or um, Cranberry, whichever one you want to go with. And it sold to um, someone bought it. Let's see, this was a thrift store find. I was hoping I could find the whole thing at the thrift store, but I thought when I could only find the lid, I was like, well, you know, somebody out there is going to want a lid. What if they dropped theirs and broke and it broke? 
So sure enough, um, I listed it and it sold. It sold for $10 plus shipping. And it was 10 inches. Very, I mean, it's a, it was a very, I love the color of it. Just love it. And I think I might have paid a dollar for it and sold it for 10. All right, let's see what else sold. Oh yes, this one was a fun one. This find, I found it at the thrift store, I want to say, a long time ago. This thing was listed for months. Um, I can't remember exactly when I, I know I found it over a year ago. Um, it was probably in the death pile for a little while. So, let's see. Um, ended up selling for $9 plus shipping. Um, it, it was just a very interesting piece. A very vintage. And, um, you know, the pictures aren't very good here. This was some experimenting with, um, the, um, background removal. And the pictures aren't very well, aren't good at all. Because it wasn't a very good background removal. But, um, it still sold. It was a vintage Florida bamboo, kind of like a tray or a square shaped bowl. And it had um, the map of Florida on it. But the cool thing was, is it had, um, if you look a little closer here, it doesn't have Disney World on there. And it has, let's see, Cape Kennedy. You see that? Well, let's go look at the history on there. We got no Disney World. And we got this area right here called Cape Kennedy. Kennedy. So we go a little bit farther. Well, it's over here, right beside Daytona Beach, to the right. All right, let's see if we can go find the description on that. Okay, this is a true vintage item, and it says um, this Florida bamboo tray and Florida State souvenir was made before Disney World opened in seven in seventeen in nineteen seventy one but after Cape Canaveral was changed to Cape Kennedy in 1963 and before it was changed back to Cape Canaveral in 1973. So Disney World opened in 1971. So this was before then. So it was made sometime between 1963 and 1971. I love Lincoln items by just by their just by what's on them just by their um like this map it's really cool that we can see that it didn't have disney world on there but it was called cape kennedy for about two years they changed it from cape canaveral to cape kennedy and then back to cape canaveral so that's very interesting. It was made between 1963 and 1971. That's really cool. And I did find it, um, let's see, it was a thrift store find on like a half off day. So I probably got 50, I had 50 cents in it, let's say. And sold for $9 plus the shipping on top. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, I remember this. This cute little puppy. All right, we have a vintage ceramic, black and white, Cocker Spaniel dog figurine. And this was also purchased from a thrift store on half off day. So maybe 50 cents I might have in it. And it sold, it was listed for a long time. And it finally sold for $5 plus shipping. It's a cute little puppy dog. He wasn't without his flaws. He had a little bit of color discoloration. I mean, not just a little bit of faded off the black. But he was so cute. So cute. You can tell in his face how cute he is. 
just so adorable. Look at his face. He is so cute. <laughs> and he sold for $5 plus shipping. And like I said, maybe 50 cents I had in here. Alright, let's move on. See what we can find next that sold. Oh yes, I remember this one. This one was very cool. Okay, it has that whole blue and white kind of French country look to it. That was very popular. You know, that's very popular with, I guess, you know, a lot of decorators. But, um... This picture was just unique. It was very unique. It also kind of had that kind of, um, you know, of course the blue and white, but um, I can't remember what it's called now. It's not called Calico. It's called something. <laughs> I just can't remember what it's called. It was unique. It was a very interesting little piece. I loved its uh, the handle and the spout. Just a lot of different. It just had a different look to it. It's very glossy, very shiny gloss finish to it. And the bottom, of course, you know. It just had this this A on it with a made in China. Um, of course, I couldn't see the made in China part when I bought it. It was covered up. But I knew that it would sell just on its own because, um, you know, the brand doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was made in China. The look of it. The look of it is what sold it. Let's see what it sold for. Uh, well, it didn't sell for a lot, but still, I didn't pay much for it either. It sold for eight dollars, and I probably probably had a dollar in it, if that. Plus shipping. It was very. I thought it was in. You know. You know. It just has that really cute blue and white kind of French country look. All right, let's move on to the next one. These were very very unique. Um, I've never seen any quite like this before um i'd only found another one that was um it had a red font similar to this but it also didn't have that like this kind of has that blue 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 cornflower look and um the other one was just just had the salt and pepper like maybe with like a, well, I wouldn't say a shooting star design or something, but they had them priced really, really high at like $45 for a salt and pepper shaker that had, um, that were just like these, but red without the flowers. And, um, to this day, I don't think they sold. I think they're still on there. But mine sold for $11.00 plus shipping, and these are, um, like I said, I put them as rare because nowhere could I find another single one like it at all, and it's rare vintage Westinghouse Jimco milk glass blue and white salt and pepper shaker set, very, very, very cute, I love how, I love, if, if at all possible, um, if I'm taking pictures of something that is white, I will try my best to, to put a blue background in somewhere in the picture just to make it pop and you can see it better. So that's what I did here and, um, yeah, you got the measurements and everything. And we all know the issues that these things can get with tops if you use them the salt kind of almost like erodes it so you have to let your buyers know about that but yeah this was a really cool find um my mom actually found them and she gave them to me so i had nothing in it and 
and sell for eleven dollars plus shipping. Okay, this skirt. This skirt took a while to sell. This was a skirt that my mom had got for me, and it just. I didn't like it. It just it, it wasn't flattering on me at all. It didn't fit right. Didn't look right. So I decided to list it, and um, the brand was Ultra Tees Women's Pencil Skirt Stretch Business Work to Weekend. Um, the hanger that it came on um, had left this little like line because this up here was like an elastic band that went around the top of it so it left a line in it I'm not sure if that ever came out uh, it's quite possible that it did I did note that in the description and it was like really high up above the middle part of the band so a shirt would definitely cover it up if it didn't go away but I'm sure that it probably eventually did it's just that where the hanger was like pushing into it I'm assuming that's what caused it but other than that it was in perfect condition and um, I'm glad it sold and moved on to someone else who will actually wear it and use it and enjoy it all right let's see the next thing that sold okay this was a very very interesting little set of this um, antique blue truck it is a um, table runner. It's very, very, very nice table runner for fall and Thanksgiving, Halloween, all those things. And it came with a, a matching dish towel that said hello fall. And this was actually a retail arbitrage that I had picked up in the past. And um, I think I doubled, yeah, I doubled my money on this, this set here. And I'm glad it's went to someone who will enjoy it and use it. Let's see. I sold it for $13 plus the shipping. And it was, I like the blue trucks. I really do. And i um, glad to see that it sold. And the person will like it. And um, these trucks are very, very popular. Um, it's normally you see the red truck. But this time... There was a blue one, and I love blue, so I picked up some for myself, and some that I sold for retail arbitrage, so, um, that's a big, that and the campers, um, I'll show you a camper in a little bit that's sold, but the trucks are very popular in home decor, seasonal decor, very popular, very popular, the vintage looking 1950s, I think this year. 1940s, 1950s style of truck. It's very, very, very cool. Uh, the red truck and then them coming out with the blue one. The blue one I think looks great. But anyway, let's see the next thing that's sold, you guys. Okay, this is another retail arbitrage thing. Uh, these were so cute. This is a set of two Happy Fall Autumn Pumpkin doorknob hanging pillows and they were about five by five and a half inches and just a beautiful fall decor and you can hang them on your doorknobs or do whatever you wanted to with them uh, I'm sure you could find many other uses for them but so this was a retail arbitrage thing that I think I've doubled my money on sold it for nine dollars plus shipping and that's so cute it was a very easy item to ship. This one, this is one of my favorite pictures. It's so cute. It's a different color pumpkin. Happy fall. It has that definitely that farmhouse look to it, um, with this kind of burlap sack type of material and the jute string. A lot of people love to decorate with stuff like this, and it sold. I think it sold fairly quickly. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's see what sold. Okay, this one here. Um, 
this came from my personal collection um this lighthouse painting in like a window frame type thing it was like a wall hanging wood plaque of this white house scenery painting and it reminded me of like a cape cod or, or a hamptons type theme that's just that that whole like new england kind of shoreline kind of look so i put that in the title i think it really helped um, it ended up selling for $10 plus shipping. Um, this had been in my collection for many years, maybe 10 years, because I've collected a lot of lighthouses, lighthouse decor. I used to be huge into that, and I've started selling off some of my collection. Some of it I'll keep, some of it I'll sell off, but um, this one here, um, I had nothing into it. Um, someone else had bought it for me years ago, and... I sold it for $10 plus shipping, so not bad. It's pretty good when you can make a profit on things that you got nothing into. But it was just a very, very, a very cool piece that um, sold and the customer was happy with it. So, alright, let's see what else sold. And here we have this really, really awesome ceramic plate with this awesome truck on it with the pumpkins and the orange checkered. It was just so cool. When I found this, I was like, I'm, this will sell. This will sell. <laughs> so um, this was a retail arbitrage that I found. And I knew someone would really like it. And they did. It sold for nine dollars plus shipping and i didn't have much into it like maybe two dollars or something and it is the antique old red truck ceramic plate eight inches pumpkins with pumpkins fall autumn decor that farmhouse style decor this people love this stuff you guys these red trucks i mentioned it earlier with the blue one but people love these and this was just a local find and I knew someone would would really appreciate it and like it and they were very happy with it all right let's move on to the next one okay so here we are with another retail arbitrage this one is really really cute it is a spoon rest a ceramic spoon rest and um let's let's get the picture a little bigger here it says hey pumpkin on it it was so cute so adorable and it has this kind of a almost like a burnt orange color just like it just said this is dishwasher safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, yeah. Eight inches long, by about three and a half, four inch, a little over an inch tall. It was so cute, and it sold. Customer was happy with it. A hay pumpkin farmhouse harvest autumn design kitchen spoon rest ceramic one sold for $9.95 plus the cost of shipping it was um I have no idea I bought a couple of these um that is um I still have I have one that says grateful for sale and I kept one that says blessed that's blue and the one that says grateful has like a burgundy color here where the orange is it's still for sale it's still you know it's kind of like for thanksgiving this one was more for like the halloween and but the one i kept the blue one that says blessed and the burgundy color one i have for sale it says grateful they're kind of like a thanksgiving thing but um yeah i made money on this 
Uh, like I said, I can't remember what I paid for them. It couldn't have been a whole lot because um, at this price point, I know I was making money on it. Maybe, maybe double. I really can't remember what I've, what I've got in these. But they're popular, this kind of stuff. I've had a lot of fall decor that I've done retail arbitrage on that's done pretty well that I've made money on. So let's see if the next one is sold. More retail arbitrage. These were like a gold mine find, let me tell you. Um, anytime you get into this, this Disney stuff, seasonal, these pumpkins were great. They were awesome. So we have the set of three Disney 4-inch mini light-up Halloween pumpkins. We have Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and I believe that's Pluto. It might be Goofy. Some of them that were listed said Goofy. Some said Pluto. I'm not sure. <laughs> it could truly pass for either one of them, technically, the way it's made. Unless I'm forgetting how Pluto truly looks. Maybe I am. Maybe it is Goofy. It's possible it's Goofy. But they sold. Let me show you the pictures first. These were really cool. Look at this. They got them in the dark. Look how cute that is. They're so cute. So cute. These were a big score, and I sold multiple sets of three of these. Let's see. They sold for $25 plus shipping. $25. Um, I'm trying to see. I know I, I went over double on the profit on these. On each set. People love these things. They're so cute. And I feel like um, not everybody, um, you know, this year's been a crazy year for everyone. So a lot of people, I feel like, kind of did more um, at home Halloween decorating. And, like, I'm sure more people are doing more for Christmas decorating. Because, um, you know, it's been different. Not, not everyone was doing trick-or-treating. And a lot of people weren't. A lot of houses were not. And um, I know for us, like just my mom's, pretty much my sister's the only place we went to. Just immediate family that, you know, just whatever you felt comfortable with. A lot of it was canceled and called off. Some people still went. And that's fine. Whatever you're comfortable with, that's, that's you know, you just have to do what you're comfortable with. But, um... I feel like that one of the reasons that, um, which this this could be true for any year, not just this year. Maybe these things would have been hot sellers last year if I'd have had them. Who knows? But I feel like maybe people were doing going a little extra, doing a little bit more. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is just normal. But I know I sold a ton of fall decor, and these right here, like I said, I sold multiples, multiple sets. All right, let's see what the next one is. Okay, so this one is a thrift store find that I found probably like a year ago. Finally got it listed. It was probably listed for a good while. And it sold this year in the fall season for that kind of fall decor type stuff. I didn't really have it listed as fall decor. Well, I guess I added it later, but I originally never had it listed as fall decor. It's a vintage stainless steel, like, leaf-shaped tray with, uh, like, wild, wild strawberries on it. And, you know, of course, anything leaf-shaped is great for autumn. Farmhouse, shabby chic. It's just, um, an interesting piece. This leaf shape. was the back of it. I 
how much I paid for this, I really don't remember. It's probably, probably about, I don't know. Like I said, it was a thrift store find on half off day. So maybe a dollar to two dollars. I'm not sure. I, probably a dollar, 50 cents. I don't remember. But it sold for six fifty plus shipping. All right, let's see what the next one is. Okay. This was a really cool, really cool one that sold. And this was made by a company. It's, this is a vintage tin made by a company called Sunshine Biscuits. And they have tons of different tins with these really, really cool um designs on them um now this one is not how it would have originally came this lid did not match this one um on the lid here we have the statue of liberty and on the back here we have um west point and this west point one is from a courier and ives painting and it's got a little bit more here really nice it's a really nice graphic this one too and what I really like about it is this part the inside where it gives you a lot of information this one's on the Statue of Liberty it tells um, where the Statue of Liberty came from a lot of people don't know the history of the Statue of Liberty but it tells you here and it was a gift to us um, from the people of France to the people of the United States in honor of the 100th anniversary of the signing of our Declaration of Independence. So the Statue of Liberty has been around for quite a while. And it's just, it's really interesting. It gives you all the information about it. And isn't it cool how the Statue of Liberty used to look? more of like has that green color now but that's from age and you know of course the water and everything has changed it a little bit but she's still standing tall for us our liberty our freedom all right and here's a little um thing that shows the other side of the um west point military academy one and it says that it's from a Courier and Ives print from 1862. And it talks about um, West Point and some history on that. And um, a limited edition from the Sunshine, <laughs> Sunshine Biscuits. I don't know why that's giving me a tough time, but it is sunshine biscuits so if you're a collector of tins or historical um, pieces advertising or any of that stuff this was a cool piece it was a cool piece now originally I think this Statue of Liberty one went on a tin the back of it had the Liberty Bell and that was that tin and it had this kind of black um, this part here that's white I think it was black on the other one how it would originally been but somehow the lid got changed on this one I don't know how but I found it at a thrift store so and I think the other side of this West Point one this was the back um, the lid to it should have been um, Mount Vernon I think that's what this one was supposed to be on it but anyway it sold for $18.50 plus shipping on that one. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like and hit the subscribe button. It's free and it's the best way for you to know the next time I upload a video. Um, 
soon we're going to be having many more of these what's sold on ebay videos i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to sharing with you what's been selling on ebay for me so thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one